everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 107 of Mountain Blade Warband. And right now we can continue to kick some of the... Oh, Swedia is really down to... Oh, yeah, they have... They're barely clinging on to the Empire. They have only two big cities left. And a couple of uh, maybe three or four small. Uh, wow, this is interesting that they are still. These things are holding out. So um, I think let us keep our eyes on maybe Derchos Castle uh, and this one also, uh, or uh, we looked at this one and I think they were. I think there were like two hundred. 70 or 240 in there so I don't think we can take it on right now based on the kind of uh, composition we have uh, yeah our troop composition it's not really uh, conducive to uh, castle taking because what we really need would be some really tough uh, uh, infantry and supported by archers. So right now we are a uh, marauding, we are more like a, a swift on the field kind of deal. We have 24, 23 Sweden knights, 24 Mamluks, so that's almost 50 Ve uh, Vagar knight, uh, 28 Sarid horsemen. So we started with like 42 Sarid uh, militia, so we're getting there. So um, yeah. The militia has all been transferred into vet uh, footmen and then veteran footmen and then hopefully Saturday horsemen and then pretty soon. Let's look at the knights. See their morale is above average because we have been fighting uh, Sweden people also. Unlike the Mamluks very high. All of all the rest are very high except Sweden. So uh, okay we can move rough back up. Okay, and then let us just check these things out. Yeah, the Sweden Knights are not going to be very happy because, yeah, they're fighting their own countrymen. Uh, your party is spotted by... So we did not... Okay, what's this? Iberan? Oh, did we check? I thought we... Let's go to Ibran. Buy supplies, veggies. Uh, yeah, let's recruit them. Let's leave. Yeah, just riding around, we will be able to get there. Uh, so that means, did we lose four people? Oh, we lost two people but I think we gained uh, two more uh, slots because our I think it's based on our renown and based also we get plus one every time we go up one one charisma level this is ours also right Berglund yeah that's Vager country So we can actually take down the uh, count here, and so if it comes out, so that will slowly diminish his uh, his troops. Okay, the guy from the castle came out, so we can actually nab him. Uh, this guy? Oh, that's Boyar. Okay, uh, 4.8. So he must have checked that out. Okay, uh, let us save this. So right now we are in, like, uh, we can actually uh, kick any person's uh, butt easily at this point in time. But I don't want to be overconfident. The other thing is that we don't want to make Vager the strongest. That's why if 
the reason is this uh, right now uh, Swedia is just down to two big castles and maybe uh, uh, two or three four maybe four uh, little castles and that's why I've been eyeing this possibly Dirtios also uh, or this one uh, so there are three right here so if we can group them close to ours uh, then we will be pretty well set because that means we have all these uh, these three castles here and we have three castles up here so we can in theory still keep everything intact uh, this one has been uh, I think Uskur uh, who belongs to which castle does this thing belong uh, so Dirim is still vaguer, so only one, yeah. So this is Boyar something. Yeah, he came to look at that. Uh, we can check this one out. See the thing is, or we can we need, did not check out uh, Dirchos. Okay, let us look at their cost. Their uh, King Swedia and King of Norths have made peace. Oh, they have to. You know what? You cannot fight the Vagers at the same time fight the uh, Nords. Uh, is, that's mutual. That's just just really asking to be killed. So this is still this is quite far from our current uh, position. 134. In theory, we can take this thing down. They've got two recruits, uh, six militia, 23 footmen, uh, infantry, 27, 31 crossbowmen, 21 men at arms. Uh, yeah, that that would be very uh, what do you call this? Uh, destructive on our part. Uh, that's pretty strong. Uh, I mean. This crossbow man will will take us apart. Let's look at this one. One seventy three, uh, sixteen militia footmen. Skirmishers, 25 crossbow men, 27 men at arms. Not a good, not a good one. <laughs> uh, they are not uh, easy. Yeah, they, uh, okay. So, you know what? Yeah, let's come back to our town and see if there is a uh, ransom broker. Because I think we are maxed out on... Yes, we are. We have total thirty-five. Yes. Okay. Uh, let us look. So right now, ooh, ah, yeah, because Ox Hall was taken over by the. Rodax. So, wow. Okay, if not, it will also be under sequestration. So, right now, just Suno and Praven. And, okay. And, um, and also, Amirad was taken by the Kyrgyz. Mm hmm. So, Reindy, Rain, Reindy Castle. Oh, Ulun is actually paying pretty good. Uh, Tad Samesh is coming back. Like, look at our party. It's costing us 3000 a week. Halmar is costing 2000 What's Halmar doing? Uh, Halmar is doing... Oh, Dalmar is doing okay. It's 2500 Almost... Uh, 2600 So, it's paying for itself. Uh, Reindy is... Paying for itself? Is it? Reindy is almost break-even. Ulan is positive. Okay, that is fantastic. So, says some soldiers are ready to upgrade. 
Let's look at our castle. Two, four, two, two hundred thirty-four. We have Sweden militia, uh, Sweden footmen, Rodok trained spearmen, Rodok veteran spearmen, uh, Kyrgyz veteran horse archers, a Rodok tribesmen. So mostly Rodok and Kyrgyz. Uh, oh, there are still third, uh, 42 Sarinid uh, recruits. Okay. Uh, then let's come over to Halmar. So 240 plus. So they're, they won't be an easy target uh, to take down. And King of Rodox have made peace. Kirk and Sarinid have made peace. So we're the only one at war with anybody. And they're pounding on poor Swedia. Uh, okay. Um, hold on. Let us check on our party. Uh, Sweden Malamuks. Uh, two more into Mal Mamluks. Uh, Saranid veteran footmen. Into Saranid. Horsemen, uh, Sweden recruits. Okay, we'll keep them as recruits. Uh, Vager veteran into Vager horsemen. Vager horsemen into knights. Okay. Okay, we are not ready to turn them into because they will be like they'll cost three dinners. Dinars, <laughs> dinners, not the, uh, they'll cost 23 dinars. Uh, this one, see, mor morale is average, uh, above average, above average. Why is it above average? Okay, um. Let's go to the tavern. Hopefully there is a broker. No. Uh, let's go to the marketplace. And we can ditch the uh, items we have picked up. All the junk that we picked up. What's that horse? I think that's a, a lame or something like a stubborn, right? Stab, uh, stubborn, okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to do this. Okay. Morning Star. Okay, we can give this to some to one of our people. Okay. Uh, back. Uh, join a tournament? No, no. Okay. Uh, manage this town. Okay. Go back. Uh, go to the castle. Checking what's in our chest. Pottery. Should we try to sell these? Uh, okay, I think that's it okay uh, let's actually check around see our prison do we want to put these guys into our prison I mean in uh, the guys we captured I 
think so, right? Because we want them uh, to improve the business here so that I think the more business we give our own city, the more uh, tariffs we collect or something. Uh, I don't know, but the thing is that these guys might actually uh, escape or something. Or maybe the escaping is only uh, what, given to the um, counts or to the vassals. Uh, I'm just trying to remember if they will actually escape from here. Anyway, we are improving our prisoner uh, prison system, I believe. Page your infantry. And we're not given a chance to talk to them. Uh, okay, uh, we want to move these recruits. Vager horsemen can become Vager knights. Footman will become serenade horsemen. Okay, so that means we will have a our we will have. 58 to 67 Saranid um, Mamluks. Okay. Uh, oh, also, we, uh, I think we lent. Uh, we lent a Bahester to our king. So, okay. Let's go check over here to see what this place looks like. Or can we now change everything? So let's go hunt us some uh, sea pirates. Uh, this is 196. Okay, that'll make it 200. <laughs> yeah. Okay, manage the garrison. Let's give them all the Kyrgyz uh, tribesmen. Okay. Uh, I think we want to... Yeah, I... Th you know what? Let's go remove the... Um, the knights. Uh... And let's go up north and start taking down or you know what I think uh, let's see if we can be opportunistic and uh, just keep patrolling this area so that maybe Kelredan, Kelredan, uh, Derchos or Senuga, Senuga we can actually stumble on them. And pick up maybe a uh, pick up a castle in the process. Because right now we are not doing oh yeah. What we want to do is give uh Ferentis is our tank, right? So let's see your equipment. What is your 21 leg armor? This is 22 leg armor. Okay, you can have this. And the next one is Alayen. Oh, you still have lousy leg armor, 17, this is 21. Okay, uh, I guess that's it, never mind.
Elerda. Elerda. Now this these names are very hard to remember. <laughs> Just two at a time. This is very uh Okay, let's come over here and drop them off. Truce between Vagars and King of the Nords has expired. Okay. Sweden so recruits. Let's just give it to them. Leave. Yalibe, yeah, Yalibe. Chipstin. Yes, we'll buy that. And we'll sell you this. Ooh. They don't have the money for it. Okay. Recruit. Yes. Leave. Yeah, we're just wasting time here uh, until the war has been undeclared. Uh, Saranid Mamluks. On Boyar America? So he lost his uh, river check? So maybe when uh, we get captured, uh, then our castle becomes empty and it's given to somebody else? Because Boyer Meriga used to be the head of Rivacheg. Wow, uh, that is very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go check this one out. This has been looted, right? Yeah. I wonder if we can actually uh, flush this guy out. Senuzga. One four, so 173. See, I. Yeah, we're not ready to take them on. 27 men at arms and uh, crossbowmen. Uh, yeah, we're not ready to take them on. Okay, uh, let's go to Derim. Uh, no, no. U Ushku? Ushkuru? <laughs> uh, and he doesn't want to come out. If he comes out, I'm hoping he comes out, we take like half of his uh, people down then the other half we can actually storm that castle but right now we don't so uh, we are just uh, wasting our time good thing but you know what yeah I think we should go up north uh, I think we should go up north, uh, change to our Mamluks and uh, what do you call uh, Mamluks and the slaver chiefs. You know what? Let's just go look at their chos. We did not. We never looked at their chos. So. Uh, Oops, there goes our timer, so I uh, just want to see what their chest looks like.
Ooh, 134, huh? Footman, 21 skirmishers, Corsa Bowman, 31, 21 men at arms. Again, it's very iffy. We just don't have, if we have, yeah, we need to start training up our people so that we have, uh, yeah. What what we need to do next uh, in preparation to taking to taking this thing down and that thing down is to uh, or even that the other one over here. So uh, I think we just need to uh, train uh, some uh, Nord uh, Hoskarls and Ver uh, Vager uh, Vager Master Archers. And I think uh, we should do that. And let's come. But before we do that, we need to get our uh, our money situation. I I think we need to maybe say have three hundred thousand in the bank or something. Uh, reason being that um, you know, uh, I th or before even before that, we should. I think. Right now, we should continue to build up our uh, our recruits so that we have. Okay, so right now, since our three castles are not uh, are not being uh, what do you call this threatened by anyone, we can actually really ramp up our uh, recruits from Vegas, from the Nords, and from the Kyrgyz states because the. Uh, Swedian people are not very happy with us. So I think uh, I might not even record those uh, ramping up our uh, recruits. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Um, okay, let us manage the garrison. And so we will give them the Swedian recruits. Yeah, because we... No, let's just give all. Uh, Sarad footman ready to go to horse horseman yes uh, I think we will just uh, we'll give all the knights uh, we'll keep the Mamluks uh, we'll give the Okay, once to, once ready to upgrade, we'll keep them. You know what? Anyway, uh, I guess this would be a good way, a uh, good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.